Hi, I'm John Ormsby, president of Dry Ease and Forest Store Products. And today what we're going to talk about is an exciting new product, the Dry Ease LGR 7000 XLI. The Dry Ease 7000 XLI is absolutely the best performing dehumidifier market in the market today, certainly in the XL group and below, without question. So really when we talk about the fact that this product is unmatched in the industry, we're really talking about numbers. First of all, if you look at AHAM specifications, this product is 130 pints tested. Again, right there, unmatched in the marketplace. If you look at LGR uh, performance, 8020 for example, we're at least 40% better than the next best competitor. When it comes to the features and benefits of a product, we believe that it's important to also compare it with other products in the marketplace. And we can choose uh, any number of units to compare the 7000 to. And what you'll find is, by far and away, in every single circumstance, the 7000 comes out the clear winner. But today, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, con we'll compare it to a unit that a lot of people are familiar with, the R200 from by Phoenix. So what are some of the differences that, that that are the, between the two units that provide the difference of performance. Well, for one, when you look at how the R200 was designed, you have the cool air uh, from the evaporator actually passing over the compressor, which actually warms it at a critical time, inhibiting its performance. When you look at our patent-pending advanced crossflow technology, we do not mix the air like that whatsoever. So the air stays cold when it needs to stay cold, comes out warm when it should be warm. Again, optimizing performance. So let's talk a little bit further about uh, some of the other differences between the two products from a, uh, from a design standpoint. First of all, uh, the door itself, when you close it, I'm gonna remove the cord here. When you actually close it, what you'll find are significant gaps all the way around the door, which which actually what that means is that the air is actually moving around the door and down into the filter. And what you'll also find is that the filter doesn't exactly snug up against the, the sides of the housing. What you'll find here is a nice snug fit with the, uh, with the screen on top so that the air is actually being directed where we want it to go, which is actually right through the filter. Also, the filter, uh, as designed, covers the entire area and has actually sealed down, if you will, sucked down from the air coming, uh, the inflow coming through the filter so that we ensure that all the air that is, that is entering into the unit is actually uh, moving through the filter and capturing the debris. The other thing that I'd like to point out is the cord design again. So I mentioned that the cord is removable. You can see how it fits in the pocket, nice and neat, and, uh, and is really uh, has no ability to be compromised whatsoever. On this particular unit, uh, the cord is actually attached and, and actually slides underneath the door. The door having, a, having an edge, a very sharp edge, um, can actually potentially cut through that cord. We mentioned a little bit earlier about the onboard uh, technology, the electronics. The fact that it actually reads the temperature coming in not only helps to optimize performance, but you can actually see it on the touchpad display. The touchpad on the, on the Phoenix R200 is very basic. Effectively, you have an on, off, and job hours. The touchpad on the, on the LGR 7000 XLI gives you a significant amount of information, including the inlet outlet conditions that you need to ensure that drying is progressing appropriately. So when we move beyond performance, you also have to consider ergonomics and you have to consider build quality. If you look at the ergonomics of the unit, the one thing that I'd like to point out is that both units are relatively close in, in weight. They're basically the same. However, that changes quite drastically when you actually have to, to maneuver the unit. And so I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. If you take the R200 and you wheel it around as so, just like anybody would, what you're going to find is that this unit is actually three times heavier than the LGR 7000 XLI. Why is that important? Well, certainly it's important because you know, getting a, a dehumidifier in and out of a vehicle can be difficult for a lot of people. But think about this. How about when you take a unit upstairs? Are you going to want a unit that's three times heavier, or do you want the lightest unit available? 
I'd like to point out a significant difference, another significant difference between our product and any competitive unit. Our engineers took painstaking efforts to ensure that our unit would at no time leak, even all the way on its back. So you can literally move the unit all the way down its back, which I know not a lot of people do, but you can do that and the unit will never leak. We know that you know, competitive units didn't really consider that as part of their design. And so the reason why that's important is even if you, if you wheel back the competitive units a little bit, you always have the potential to leak which is not really ideal where you're wheeling a, a piece of equipment out or a dehumidifier out of the, of the home of one of your customers. With our product, that's not a word. So now you've learned a little bit about the LGR 7000 XLI. And what you've learned today is that this product is unmatched in the industry, absolutely positively guaranteed. So I have a statement to make. If you happen to engage in anyone who is either selling or recommending drying equipment to service companies, and they recommend a dehumidifier other than the LGR 7000 XLI, they are either misinformed or have a personal agenda that is certainly not in the best interest of the customer.